hello guys it's me Karthik hope you guys are doing really good so as you can see here on the console that I have sent one message and the message is sent to the queue okay so we have seen this how to send the message in the queues uh, so uh, in my previous video right so let me show you those messages so you have a browse queue option here these many messages were there guys i am waiting in the queue okay that means once the any receiver you know uh, if anyone subscribe to this queue as is you know a uh, consumer these messages will be sent okay so that's good so in this video we'll see how to receive these messages okay so for this we are going to use jms listener class here so yeah so let's start that part so i have come to the other application message receiver application in the message sender application we are sending the uh, message to the queue and in the receiver we need to receive the message from that queue okay so i am going to i have created this particular package here dot service here let me use something called uh, message receiver okay as a message as a class name okay this one i will take it as service import the service then here you take it as jms listener listener okay this is a jms listener and here uh, you see here jms listener will have uh, this is a this is a one right so here it will have string uh, destination is equal to what is the queue that we are using we are using learning as a queue right learning think yeah so this is not the sh this is a this is a you know syntax here okay so public void receive messages string message that's it import the jms listener okay simply keep message i think that should be it guys let's see So now you could see we have received the messages right so all the messages that are presented in the queue we have received right so let's see so I have two applications running now here one is a sender application and other one is a receiver application right so what I will do is I will try to send a message to the queue and I will see whether it is receiving directly or not. So sending message one this this implementation we have did in the previous video right now send a message one went and let's go to the receiver application now you could see we have received this one as part of the receiver application right and in the sender application we sent in the receiver application we have received right 
so what we did in the receiver application simply we have used a jms listener and make sure that you are giving the queue name properly okay whatever the queue name that we are sending we need to give it okay now if i if i refresh no items will be available since there is no message to be sent as part of the queue everything is already been received right i'll do one thing i'll try to send a message from here itself hello message message sent let's see did we receive it to which console it went also i'm not sure this is the sender part now you could see we have received right cool so this is the how we can send and receive the message in artemis okay hope you guys have learned this hope you guys have followed all the four tutorials as part of the playlist like what is artemis how to install as part of the windows system and how to you know set up the spring boot application how to run the server that we have uh, seen here and also how to send and receive messages thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing